my time. March. Center. Base. Ready. Hold. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Turn it on. It's on. Okay. Oh, it's on. We have lights there. Moron. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got that one. <laughs> that one came out. Uh, five years ago, uh, I called up Tommy and I said, hey, the uh, Lawrence High School Alumni Association is having its annual banquet and we'd like you to come and cover it. And he said, well, what do you do? I said, well, we have dinner for the scholarship winners and their families and we give out the scholarships. And he said, okay. And he said, wait a minute. And I hear rummaging around in the back. And he goes, hey, I just scraped up $100. Can I give a scholarship? I said, sure. And he came and he gave it. And the winner was so happy that he got the, five, uh, the $100 from Tommy. He sent him his transcripts after his first semester. I thought that was great. So Tom's told me, he goes, you know what? I'm gonna keep doing this every year. If I can, I'm gonna raise the amount I give. The second year, we had another winner, $200. Now tonight, apparently two from 400, that's gone to 500. So thank you very much. So when Tom gave the first scholarship, I said, well, what are you looking for in a student? I said, do you want a journalism major? No. <coughs> do you want somebody with great grades? No. I said, what are you looking for? He goes, I want somebody who stands out, that the teachers and the administration respect, that the other students look up to, and they work hard, and they're creative, and just in general, people look up to them. He said, okay. So what we've been doing for the last five years is calling the administration at Lawrence High, and this year, you know, we talked to Tim Finn, the assistant headmaster, and we got our two winners. And I'm just gonna quickly read a short bio about each one. We have Kevin Vanderhorst. He's a senior in the Math, Science, and Technology High School. He moved to Lawrence from the Dominican Republic, this is amazing, two years ago, with his parents. He immersed himself in his academics and sports, specifically basketball. Since Kevin's arrival to Lawrence High, he's managed to maintain, in his two years, a 3.8 GPA. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. And Kevin will be the first in his family to attend college. He's going to be taking business administration at Mount Ida College. Nice. We also have... Tu Deng. Tu Deng came from Vietnam with her mother when she was three years old to the United States. She would be studying food science at Framingham State University in the fall. She is part of the yearbook staff, the prom committee, student council, and the Girl Scouts. She is also part of the youth development organization here in the city and taught middle schoolers about nutrition during the Science Olympiad. Tu is a great mo role model when it comes to eating healthy. I never thought I'd read this about a scholarship winner. Because she can often be seen eating fruit and sipping on green smoothies with chia seeds. <laughs> can you come up to and Kevin, please. Don't go anywhere. I've got um, a check for eight hundred dollars for the Lawrence High alumni to pay for their scholarship, which is the bottom one. And then we got an extra donation from a friend of ours that never comes because he can't. But um, uh, over at Pentucket Medical, John Saro, who this table I know knows well because he takes care of our veterans, 
Uh, he wrote us a check, but he didn't write it to us like everybody else. He said, no, please give this to Long Retire Alumni Association and add it to the scholarship. So here's an extra $200, $100 for each kid. So now we're up to six. And that's from John Saro. Who's got my script? Anybody? Can I do it Why don't we retire the colors? You guys did a great job. Thank you so much. And is it through or two? To Dane, thank you, and Kevin, thank you for coming. And if you want to get